This one is titled The Theory of Everything. Um, I think because I have quite a strong interest in science, which has been developed through the, my work with the CSIRO, uh, and I listen to a lot and read a lot about science as well. And the theory of everything is a very con contentious new way of thinking about it's called string theory, where you know one singular idea in mathematics can be applied to you know uh, the, the pre-existence of the Big Bang. The Big Bang isn't the beginning, you know, there's many things occurred before that. So it's a numeric idea of, that encompasses everything. So this was the theory of everything materialist. Mm -hmm. So I've, again, I felt as though uh, after the corporate, the idea of the corporation inspiring and branding, that I felt at the time when I was making this that the entire population of the world seemed to be falling into this gigantic hole of branding and, and uh, possession. So that was the original driver for the theory of everything, was to be purely about puerile acquisition. So, and, and, and wealth, and wealth at any cost for anything. As long as you've got the stuff, it doesn't matter. I wanted to make a big statement in the most polite and conservative way I could. China, flowers, lovely things, but in all it's a nauseous mess. So that was part of the intent, was to produce in the viewer a sense of nausea. Oh, the poodle was in fact the first part of the picture, uh, the poodle began the picture, and I wanted to look at a metaphor which looked at the most decorative, um, you know, the poodle begins, began its breed as a very utilitarian water hunting dog um, with its little poms. The poms on the kit, you know, uh, were located specifically over the organs mm. so that in freezing temperatures, the dog is retrieving duck or water birds uh, from sh uh, ground shooters and could retrieve them in freezing water and not damage their organs. So what became a utilitarian idea with the poodle became a purely decorative idea where the poodle is no longer a retriever, is, is almost um, emasculated from its original purpose. So it becomes this um, frothy, you know, decorative thing that is, is, has no utilitarian value. It's just to find a metaphor about something that is sort of there but meaningless and decorative. All the tulips, every one of those tulips is based in um, a tulip from the period of Dutch painting and trade with tulips. Um, where of course they were again another idea of this extraordinary amounts of money paid for something that would reproduce very, very easily but nobody knew. And the reason I've chosen to do the variegated tulips is that they're the only reason a variegation takes place in the tulip is because of the presence of a virus. So they're all sick tulips, but they're beautiful and they're incredibly valued. The parade of skulls, of course, like there are lots of reasons why I always include skulls and things. I'm a tattooist. The, the best tattoo, as far as I'm concerned, is the tattoo of a skull on living skin. It's the seriously best memento mori image there is for a tattoo. So in this image, within the skulls, there are uh, skulls which carry the uh, characteristics of moths and patterns of their, of, of, of their physical structures. How the moths got onto the skulls was that, this, again, the skull is the, 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 the premise of passing. And the moth, quite often, some moths might live for two hours. They are the embodiment of the smallest periods of time and the most delicate, they turn to dust. I mean, if you blow on their scales, they just puff off. So they are utterly delicate, which of course, you know, from the skulls takes us straight to the background. The background is uh, from a sequence of photographs I took by helicopter uh, above Rangi Uranium Mine. When you look at that landscape, it's in the middle of a national park on traditional land and it's a gigantic, filthy hole where everything withers and dies. So part of this idea is this, to, to, to add the uranium mine, is that idea of wealth at any cost and acquisition at any cost, at the, the cost of the future. 
at the cost of the land, the cost of human and animal and plant health. So, you know, it's, it's a hideous critique of what's going on in the foreground. The primary issue with this work, the theory of everything, is the theory of everything that is consumable, that is desirable, that is um, materialist.